martyred in Windsor. And I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, Lawrence County, um, in 1941. And given the name of a twin, uh, and Carl Preston was the male twin's name, and the dates, Alabama, which is illegally, have gone and marked through when I asked to get them because I have to use that name, um, they put the dates up over the top of it to make it coincide. They marked through it with the date given me, only even then they didn't do it. <laughs> uh, it's almost like, hey, this is obvious, you know, what does anybody do about it? This is Carl's death certificate who was, it was altered. He lived a year, and they have, they, they've redone it. There was no doctor officiating. She killed both of them, their mother, Lana. Uh, they were born out of wedlock. And this is the name I have to use and the date that even gone in and uh, um, inserted another month above it and left the 38, which is 39. So uh, I was writing about mind control murders, and that's what I'm going to say here. I was giving you background. Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, while I was doing the book. He was shot March the 6th of... Uh, 78, and I, I was just going to show this because um, I was flown out there during a campaign. He says I know who's responsible for his shooting. And this was in, um, I ran for U.S. Congressman. Uh, now, I wanted to get to this. A lot of the murders that Oh, well, not. These go back. They were done in patterns. April the 16th of 07 at Virginia Tech um, was mask, a mass murder using mind control. Uh, back when I wrote the book, uh, I couldn't Google. I, uh, you can Google it now, MK Ultra, and uh, it's so easy to use nowadays, and they, they cannot tell you to a degree. But these were deliberately done in patterns because mind control is uh, not visible. It's an invisible weapon. Uh, and the thing about it is it's mass and nobody, it can be used mass to form an army to take over the world, quite frankly. And there's nothing funny about it. I've been telling it for a long time, and all I've gotten is they want to handcuff me and lock me up. Um, and I will say this. After the antifreeze, in April the 1st of 80 and illegally carried me across the state line, I ended up going to the Marshal Service at the POP build, uh, not the POP, that's here, uh, the federal building in Huntsville. And I was working for Fred Simpson, the district attorney, Madison County DA in Huntsville, and Warren House Apartments. Now, you can go back and see that Wallace Simpson was supposed to have married uh, my dad, that's a lie, a double dead, and I'm getting into giving information again, and I guess somebody just throws it away. I lived at Warren House Apartments. Warren is cryptic for uh, the Warren Commission, because they cover, the cover-up, because uh, John F. Kennedy was part of my kidnapping. His father was appointed... Um, ambassador to England uh, 36 till they kicked him out in 46 and here is um, so he helped my uncle in the new world order this is George the sixth and this is Roosevelt and uh, you can go from the illegal treaties and all this but anyway this is one of the mind control murders I'll show it again it was astronaut Mark Kelly who's a twin to Scott Kelly both astronauts Gabby Gifford, who was yes, Congress lady, that's Tucson, Arizona, and that's a mass, kind of just like the uh, uh, movie theater in Aurora, Colorado, and James Holmes, which is being treated for mental illness and given psychotic drugs when uh, mind control has nothing to do with mental illness. I mean, this is one of the biggest atrocities that ever there ever was. Uh, so I want to uh, get this on. And then I'm almost afraid to put anything else up. Um, I, I, let me get back to this real quick. Uh, 
when I gathered a few of the papers and got the talk screen that was almost not done, and it wasn't until eight days later, uh, which all of it should have been, I should have been dead, let me put it that way. At the talk screen, I guess the the doctor that finally, if you call him a doctor, this is Bill Goodson. I'll go ahead and say their names. It's involved in all this. Jewish Dr. Hyman Miller, Huntsville, Alabama. Hardiman from Piedmont Hospital. That's Larry McDonald's in um, uh, Atlanta. Uh, let's see, how many more are involved there? Gonzalez, uh, Victor Gonzalez. Uh, he's still in practice, I believe. Uh, there was a gag order put on, and there's Debs, Warren and Rosina Matthews were forensic pathologists. I wrote about their deaths, and one of the girls, when they prosecuted it in Marietta, Georgia, was under mind control or, or hypnosis, okay? So I'm going on. Instead, I want to get back. When I did get the tox report back, and after all that time, it was sent back to uh, Atlanta uh, Crime Lab. It was supposed to be, it was done, supposedly done in Huntsville, Alabama. It's supposed to go to the Alabama Crime Lab. But it come back and it was point nineteen uh, antifreeze, ethylene glycol in me. So when I met, I went to work for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, and when I did uh, get some papers together and, and I was going to try to use the U.S. Marshal Service, by the way, they had been kind of involved with me just prior, while I was doing the book and prior to the antifreeze. So I went down to the federal building in Huntsville, and I went in going to try to get the marshal service to serve papers to make it all legal if I had the money to get it done. Well, when I went in to sign in, it was a British lady. And uh, she she said to me, and I didn't know at the time what she meant, the Brits are the ones that saved my life. The Brits are the ones that have paid a price and lost everything they had because of this country and the New World Order, the Illuminati. She told me we have to have the originals. So I don't know. Some things have happened here lately. I don't know if I'll live to see my kids or go home or repay. It's very important that I repay. So anyway, oh, where was I now? <laughs> I wanted to get back to Virginia Tech real quick before this goes off. Recently, and about the CDC, I put this on before this uh, uh, Ebola, and they brought the AIDS back to Emory which, in, in the Center for Disease Control, right where it started. Uh, so I put stuff on YouTube, so I didn't just start telling this yesterday uh, before that happened. But I wanted to say that um, the beheadings, you can do that with mind control. Um, I know that at Virginia Tech, where a bunch of other mind control murders have, and the University of Virginia at Charlottesville also, uh, but I wanted to address the beheading deal there. First of all, there's different ways to behead you, believe me. Uh, but there was a Chinese, and I put this on the last week or so, a uh, student there that took, he had been there a year, he took another student from China that just came in. And it was Christmas Eve a few years ago, about three, four years ago, uh, to a cafe there on campus at Blacksburg, Virginia Tech. Suddenly, out of the blue, this is supposed to be a nice, mild-mannered man, comes up and chops her head off right there in the restaurant. And it's in uh, court documents. So what gave him that idea? You think he might have been under mind control to do it? So what's scary is about it is it's mass, and to even tell about it, you're afraid that they're going to come lock me up. Uh, you could wake up with your head lopped off uh, because they you're not immune to this, America, uh, to mind control. You wouldn't even know you're getting it. Now, I want to relate it to this one that's just happened in... Um, Oklahoma, more Oklahoma. And Mark uh, Vaughn was the security and part owner that shot the man because he had lopped off the head. Excuse me for using the word, but I hope you have to see what they've done to me on a daily basis. And I sit here scared to death myself. So I don't know. It could fit into the patterns, but they're trying to blame it on um, he was trying to convert.